Illustrator, you know, I use the pen tool a lot, you know, to kind of, you know, draw the certain uh, shapes that I want to. But actually, I'm learning more and more and more to be more efficient at Illustrator, which means learning how to manipulate the simple shapes to get the things that you want. So in this video, I'm going to kind of take you through a little bit of my process of going from a circle to an actual guitar pick for a project that I've been working on. When I first open up Illustrator, usually what I do is I go ahead and, you know, make sure the grid is up and I make sure everything's snapped to the grid. Now, the reason why I do that is because I like things, you know, I like symmetry. I like things being attached to the grid because it's easier for me to make sure things are proportional. So. But that is not absolutely necessary. It's just something that I usually do because I usually kind of try to map a lot of a lot of things. Not everything I design is gonna be mapped to a grid, but a lot of things I design some somehow, some way is snapped to a grid for my personal benefit while I'm working on it. You pick a point in the center, you pick where you want your center of your circle to be. And then by holding the alt key and the shift key at the same time and then dragging it out, it'll make sure that, that circle is perfect and equidistant from the center that you've chosen. A lot of times your manipulations will come from how you manipulate the anchor points. So you'll go to the anchor point tool and you look where you see the pen tool and you'll click that and then you'll go down to the anchor point tool. Now, the anchor point tool is where you'll be able to manipulate this. By holding shift down and selecting the anchor point below, I'm able to drag this part of the circle down. Basically creating a whole new shape just by manipulating the anchor points of that circle. Now, you'll notice when I try to do the anchor point tool with the top without holding shift, that's when you'll get all these wacky curves and stuff because the holding without holding down shift, everything won't come down with it. You'll just be manipulating the curves that are attached to that particular anchor point. If you hold down shift and instead of dragging the anchor point, if you just merely click the anchor point, that's where you get the extended lines where you kind of can manipulate the curvature of it. As long as you're still holding shift as you bring it down. You can do, you know, you should play around with this in a lot of different ways, but you can kind of manipulate that so you can kind of get everything the way you want it. So it's all about manipulating shapes, and then with the circle, it's about manipulating, you know, the curvature. A lot of it is a lot of trial and error, so I encourage everybody to kind of go in there and just try things out, try simple shapes and try to manipulate them. Learn about your anchor points and just see what you can come up with. Because that's really, you know, where I have the most fun when it comes to design, is just seeing all the types of things you can come up with, how the happy accidents will happen. So just get in there and experiment and see what you come up with.